Hey everybody, welcome back, and let's do FizzBuzz. Write a program that uses console.log to print all the numbers from 1 to 100 with two exceptions. For numbers divisible by 3, print fizz instead of the number, and for numbers divisible by 5 and not 3, print buzz instead. When you have that working, modify your program to print fizzbuzz for numbers that are divisible by both 3 and 5, and still print fizz or buzz for numbers divisible by only one of those. This is actually an interview question that has been claimed to weed out a significant percentage of programmer candidates. So if you solved it, your labor market value just went up. Ah, excellent. Uh, so, a couple of things that we might want to start out with. The first thing would be, uh, let's write code to log 1 to 100 to the console. Can't hurt to start there. I'm going to go with a while loop again. So we'll say uh, create a counter uh, set to 1 and we'll put a space in between those, and then while counter is less than or equal to 100, log counter to the console, and then increment counter by 1. So if we think about this, uh, this is about as simple as while loops get. We know where it's going to start, we know where it's going to stop, it's just going to go up by 1 each time, so let's go ahead and code this out. Uh, create a counter. Uh, I've been told by some people that I should start using let, there's two different ways, well, there's a bunch of different ways to write uh, that. I don't know if that's actually come up in this chapter. I did the walkthrough of this so long ago, I don't really remember. Ah, they have featured it. So let's go ahead and use let. Uh, where is it? And let there be let. So let, just it, let counter equal 1. While counter is less than or equal to 100. So we'll say while counter is less than or equal to 100. And I'm going to move this down here. Oh boy, where's the... Okay, there we go. Okay, log counter to the console. Relatively simple. Console.log counter. Increment the counter by 1. So counter plus equals 1. Or counter plus plus. Both of those are going to work when we're incrementing by 1. And if we run this, excellent work. 1 through 100, log nicely to the console. Now, it says that they want us to first start by trying to uh, print out numbers that are divisible by 3. Uh, rather than print out the number, uh, we're going to print out fizz. So we need to make a slight adjustment to our, our pseudocode first. And I would always suggest this. Whenever you have a situation where you're returning to code and you're trying to change it, change the pseudocode first. You tend to be able to think a lot better in pseudocode than you do with code. And especially if you find yourself approaching an interview situation, uh, you might not even ever actually get to the code especially if you're interviewing for something like an actual job. Now, in a programming boot camp, if that's what you're headed towards, you probably will need to code some. Uh, I would still uh, put forth the idea that getting better with your pseudocode is a very, very good way to do this, and the best way to get good at pseudocode is to do tutorials like this, or to take code you've already written and try to write out something like create a counter set to one, basically to write an English language statement as opposed to a program. Uh, the difference between that being if we have the language, or if we have the English language statements written down, we might adjust our code without having to like adjust the overall plan. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is, uh, if counter is divisible evenly by three, evenly, evenly by three. If that's the case, now you might immediately be thinking, oh, how do I do that in code? It's like, well, two things. One. We learned how to do that in code in this chapter, so we could go back and look at it. Uh, two, we don't care. It's not really important to us to figure out how to do that at the moment, because we should just assume that there probably is a way for us to do that, because there's a way for us to do almost everything in programming. So if the counter is divisible evenly by three, uh, we want to first log, what is it, fizz to the console. And then here's where we want to make sure we don't do anything else. So there's a couple ways for us to do this. One is to do continue. Now continue is a keyword that's going to say, hey, just go to the next iteration. Don't do anything else that's inside of this, uh, inside of this piece of code, which, okay, we could certainly do that. Uh, there's also a way to structure the if else statements so that uh, you know, we put the rest of everything inside of an else if portion. And if we do that, provided this fires, we're never gonna see any of those other else if portions. Uh, continue is gonna get the job done as well though. So if counter is divisible evenly by three, log fizz to the console and continue. Uh, I think, well I know, a very, very similar approach is going to work for five. 
So we'll go ahead and log buzz to the console and then continue in the event that is evenly divisible by five. The rest of this is going to happen if these two if statements don't fire. And so we could probably just go ahead and leave them. Now here's the only issue that we're gonna see with this. Uh, both of these do a decent job of what we want them to do, but they're not changing the counter. The counter is not going to be adjusted each time. So what we're going to need to make sure that we do is input this into both of these pieces of pseudocode. Both of these pieces of pseudocode are going to need to, in the event that we, uh, what do you call it, log fizz or buzz to the console, we need to make sure that we also increment our counter the same way we did for the original counting one to 100. Now, as you can see, it's a relatively easy concept, but the code for this can get a little bit complex, and that's why after we code what is going to be a very, very forced solution, I would advise you to go back and see if there's a way you can make it more efficient, in whatever way occurs to you to do so. Now, if the counter is divisible evenly by three, you could take my word for this, or you could go back and search in the program structure chapter, but to figure out if something is evenly divisible, we're going to use something called the modulus operator, or the modulo operator. What that does is it gives us, rather than the quotient when we divide things, it gives us the remainder. For something to be evenly divisible, its remainder needs to be zero. So if we're gonna say counter modulo three, and we wanna to check to see if that is equivalent to zero. If it is, then we know that the counter is currently evenly divisible by three. Go ahead and wrap all of this around that. Uh, continue, it's a pretty simple one. Increment the counter by one, it's already happening. Log fizz to the console. So we'll console.log fizz. And excellent. Now, uh, the exact same thing is going to happen for when the counter is divisible by five. So we'll just go ahead and write that out again. Counter modulus five, triple equals zero. Again, we could probably write, well, this isn't again, but this is from earlier. We could write double equals here. You're never going to see me write double equals. I never get the impression that that's ever useful. Triple equals always make sure that that forced type coercion thing we discussed never happens. So I stick with triple equals. Uh, continue is the continue. And it actually just occurred to me, I can't remember if continue works inside of while loops. I'm pretty sure that it does. But in the event that it doesn't, we'll go ahead and adjust this at some point. <clears throat> log buzz to the console. So we'll go ahead and console.log buzz and we've got the rest of our code there so let's walk through our code quickly and make sure that everything that we kind of think should be happening is happening first thing create a counter good counter less than or equal to 100 if counter is divisible evenly by three that's this log fizz to the console increment the counter by one and then continue to the next iteration counter divisible evenly by five same story console log buzz increment the counter and continue Neither one of those is the case that's going to get down to this section of the code where we just log the, the counter to the console and then increment the counter by one. So let's go ahead and run this and we can probably just check the first 10. So one, two, three, which is evenly divisible by three, four, five, get buzz, uh, six, evenly divisible by uh, three, fizz for nine, buzz for 10. And I would say the first one of these that should be fizz buzz is going to be 15. Now, the first thing that it told us to do in the instructions, of course, was uh, when you have that working, so we just did this part first. There is a way to structure the conditionals and to structure the rest of the code so that this is extremely efficient and fun and cool. We're not gonna do that. We are literally going to just add in something up here. Before we check to see if it's divisible by three and then we continue, or to check to see if it's divisible by five and continue, first thing we're gonna do is check to see if counter, I'm slightly off on the keyboard there, if it's divisible, divisible evenly, and we're gonna assume evenly from now on, uh, by three, and divisible by five. We're gonna log fizz buzz to the console. We're going to increment the counter by one, and then we're going to continue. Why do I keep having to write out all of the pseudocode even though the code is really easy? The answer to that is because when you get to more complex code, the ability to write pseudocode like this is going to be invaluable. It never hurts to get started early, so that's what we're up to. Let's go ahead and code this out. So if the counter is divisible by three, so modulo three is equal to zero. And just to be safe, we're gonna wrap that in parentheses and we'll say and, and then we'll wrap the rest of our condition in parentheses. And the other condition is just going to be this, except we want it to be modulo five. 
So this is going to indicate that it's divisible by 3 evenly and it's divisible by 5 evenly. And if that's the case, then we know we have our fizzbuzz situation, where rather than saying fizz or buzz or the number, we're going to console.log, provided we spell it correctly, fizzbuzz. Increment the counter by 1 is just going to be counter plus equals 1. And then continue is our friendly little continue statement, which says, hey, stop this por portion of the iteration or this portion of the loop and just go to the next one. The rest of the uh, code should be working the way that it was, so let's just go over the code we have here. If counter modulo 3 is equal to 0, uh, and counter modulo 5 is equal to 0, sometimes people will say is equivalent to, or triple equals, just so they don't confuse this equal sign, which is an assignment operator, with this equivalence comparison, which of course is a comparator, or which is an operator as well, but it's a, well, we did all of that previously. Um, console.log fizzbuzz in that event, counter gets incremented by one, and then we continue. So I would suggest that we have most of what we need going here. I'm gonna go ahead and run the code. And looking good so far, let's scroll to 15, cool. Uh, next one is gonna be, I think, 30. Yeah, there we go. 30, it's probably one for 45, excellent. So I would suggest that this code is as close to complete as it's going to be for now, which is to say that there's probably a way where we could make what we've done here a little bit more efficient. Uh, for now though, this is going to be perfectly sufficient. So let's go ahead and copy this. We'll take it over to our replit page where we're saving the answers. And this one is fizz buzz. And there we go, there's the code for it. So excellent. And that's gonna be it for fizz buzz. <clears throat> Uh, we'll scroll back over here. Actually, I'm going to leave this code. This code is going to be contained inside of the gist that's going to be attached to this video. Uh, so we won't do the whole scroll over everything once again. If you want to take a look at the actual code, uh, go ahead and check out the gist. So that's it for FizzBuzz. We're going to do Chessboard next. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.